Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic. It's actually a question I got this morning from one of you whose name is Colleen and she asked me about um, keeping certain places of your body nourished during colder weather. So things like your lips, your cuticles and the soles of the feet and the overall body. So all the areas that tend to get dry when the weather gets cold and windy and dry during the winter. So that's what we're going to be talking about today and let's get started. So first of all, let's talk about the lips. So overall, the lips are really sensitive to any kind of uh, chemicals that you might use on your skin. So chemical cleansers, chemical makeup, um, mainstream lipsticks, those really, really dry out your skin. And also the skincare is so important. So you probably already know that all I use on my skin is just oil. So for cleansing, I use oil cleansing method, which is amazing. And then I only moisturize with oils and nothing else. And that keeps my lips so incredibly healthy. And when I moisturize my face, I also moisturize my lips. And when I do oil cleansing on the rest of the face, I also massage it into my lips so my lips get plenty of oil that way and then when I finish the oil cleansing method or when I rinse my face in the morning and I apply the oil on my face to moisturize I also always apply that same oil on my lips as well so talking about my favorite facial oils to apply on the skin I really love two oils at the moment and it's rosehip oil as always I've been using it for years and another one of my favorites, which is amazing and I highly recommend it, is the Sea Buckthorn Face Oil from Badger. Badger is my new favorite brand, it's just amazing. And this oil is for normal to dry skin, so it's really good for colder weather because it's so nourishing, yet still very light, and it smells beautiful. Pretty amazing, and I'm so impressed with what it's been doing for my face. So these two oils are great. And then once I do that, at night I don't use anything else, but in the morning I always apply lip balms on my lips and I found a lot of bad ones. I kissed a lot of frogs in my life that were just drying up my lips. So anything with peppermint, strong peppermint smell is really irritating for me. Anything with any kind of paraffin or liquidum or any kind of uh, mineral oil product, so basically petroleum products are really bad for my lips as well. And even the natural lip balms, not all of them work well, but I found a few that are just amazing for me. So I love a brand called Hura, and I have a couple of their lip balms. So I have the Tinted Cinnamon Lip Balm and the Vata Lip Balm, and they're both absolutely amazing. This one also has a lovely um, slight red tint, which is great for daytime instead of uh, lipsticks. And then I also have a set of CeraBe's lip balms, lip shimmers in four different, five different colors, I believe. And these are great too. And then I also really love Badger lip balms, but I don't have any here to show you at the moment, but they're really, really great too. And then another option is the 100% pure fruit pigmented lip butter. So you can probably see a theme here. I really love lip balms that also have a tint because in that way I can avoid wearing um, lipsticks because I find that even the most natural lipsticks will still dry out the lips. So I always tend to use lip tints, lip balms with a color, things like that. And these ones are all amazing for that. And then the last, oh, I also have Burt's Bees uh, tinted lip balm in, I don't know what it's called because the color is totally gone. But I've had a few different colors in my life and they're all amazing and they give a really nice color as well. So I love these, but I've heard that Bird's Bees has been bought by a different company. Was it L'Oreal? I'm not sure. And they basically changed their ingredients. They're not that clean anymore. So I'm not sure about that. And lastly, I didn't bring it. Oh yeah, I did bring it here. And one of my favorite uh, lipstick replacements is the Hemp Organics Organic Lip Tint. Um, with natural pigments in color berry. I use this for most of my videos and it's like the best lipstick But it's not really a lipstick. It's basically a lip balm and it keeps my skin my lips very very happy and very nourished Yet gives a gorgeous red berry tint to them. So these are all my favorite lip products that work as lip balms and Lipsticks and everything in one. So my biggest advice is just stay away from lipsticks. There are so many great lip tints and uh, tinted lip balms, they can give you exactly the same results, but your lips will be very happy. 
And then another thing I have to mention is your toothpaste. Look into what kind of toothpaste you're using. If you're using a conventional toothpaste like Colgate, um, definitely get away from it as far away as possible because it's so horrible for your lips. I used to really struggle with my lips when I used to use toothpaste like that. And even natural ones can be really irritating for your lips if you're sensitive to all kinds of essential oils and smells and flavors. So I use this Aura Nurse Unflavored Toothpaste. I've been using it for almost a year now, I think. And it's amazing for me because it doesn't have any flavors, so it doesn't irritate my mouth or my lips. And it keeps my, my teeth very healthy and very happy. So I highly recommend this one for anybody sensitive to any kind of flavors. So I think we're done with the lips. Now let's move on to the cuticles. And dry cuticles has been my problem for a very long time. The first thing I really want to mention before I start talking about any kind of products that really help is thyroid health. If your thyroid is underactive, no matter what you do, your cuticles and the lips and the soles of your feet, everything will continue being really dry because thyroid is essential for those places to be properly nourished. So definitely look into your thyroid health if you have those issues. And now that that's out of the way, let's talk about some of the oils and products that I use to keep my cuticles the healthiest they've ever been. So for the cuticles, I have two products that I swear by and they're both amazing. The first one is Badger Cuticle Care and Certified Organic Soothing Shea Butter and it's just amazing. It smells of lemon. I love the smell a lot and it looks like this. It's actually really oily so it stays on your cuticles for a very long time and it nourishes so well. So every night before I go to bed, I massage it into every single cuticle and nail and any kind of excess, I just massage it into the rest of the hand. And this has literally saved the nails for me this winter. And even when I went to Lithuania in London um, a week ago, I didn't have any kind of problems with dry cuticles thanks to this product. And then another one that I also use alternating with the other one is the Neem Aura Naturals Neem Skin Salve. But it's much lighter, it's more oil based rather than like butter based and is also great for any kind of dry areas on your um, on your body so even your skin or your lips your cuticles it's absolutely awesome and it's got neem oil and as you know neem oil is one of my favorite healing oils and it's so good for your cuticles and i'm really sorry for the noise but it's because my cats are having their exercising session they're basically playing like crazy and my husband isn't at home so he can't look after them and calm down so i'm really sorry but there's not much I can do. I've got five pets. It's not easy. So this is also really, really great for the cuticles and any other dry places on the body. And then for my hands, if my hands still feel dry after massaging any kind of excess uh, uh, butter, cuticle butter from my cuticles, then I also apply a bit of oil on the rest of my hands. And I always apply it when my hands are still a little bit damp. So I love sesame oil for that. Oh my God. My kitten Pilar has just been hanging on the curtain, literally hanging like a monkey. That's what happens when you live with four Siamese cats. It's crazy. So sesame seed oil is my favorite for any kind of dry skin because it's the most warming oil, according to Irida, and it's really good for any kind of dry skin, any kind of vata-based problems. So apply that to my hands and also my elbows or knees or any other dry places in my body. And I also use this for for oil cleansing method is my favorite oil at the moment for those kind of things because it's so cheap and I have a lot of it so it lasts me forever. And now the last thing is the soles of the feet. So for the soles of my feet I use two different things. I use an oil and I use a body lotion or, which is actually almost like a body butter because it's really concentrated and really thick. So again for the feet is exactly the same thing as for everything else. Really dry hard feet. It's just a sign of hypothyroidism, so definitely look into the health of your thyroid. But if your thyroid is healthy and your feet still need a bit of nourishment, then definitely try sesame seed oil. Again, it's so great for dry feet. And again, I always apply it on my feet when they're still damp, straight out of the shower, because in that way the oil is able to trap that moisture inside the skin and it works so much better. And then another thing I love using is the goat's milk and chai body lotion from Nubian Heritage. This is amazing. It keeps my feet in an incredible condition and it smells gorgeous. I also use it on my elbows. I don't really use anything else on the rest of my body because my body is oily by itself and it doesn't like any kind of extra oil or body lotion anywhere else. 
Um, but if I did need any kind of more nourishment, then I would definitely use this on the rest of my body because it's just amazing. The whole Nubian Heritage is just an amazing line and I'm definitely not sponsored by them or anything like that. I just love their products. So I think this is all I want to talk about in this video. These are all of my tips that are keeping my dry areas in my body most nourished and the healthiest they've ever been in my life. I'm super happy about that. I hope that you found this helpful and as always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for sticking with me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!